ANM issues. Just some general ANM issues. Uh, God's been chatting with me. Adult free, he doesn't like it. Rainbow Tour is a little bit vague, but God generally doesn't really like Adult Free. So in the ANM, it's not really on. I have to rebuke that, I'm afraid, for advancing no women. For us to really be blessed on earth, it doesn't really like adultery, so it's not really on. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's forbidden for our religious teachings here and there, and uh, no, it's, it's, it's not on. You know, to stay faithful in marriage. So adultery is a no-go, really, when it comes right down to it in the A&M. Rama, Torah, Kara, uh, no white faith, whatever. That's uh, your interpretation of things. But in Kara, no white faith of advancing no movement, we're not into adultery. It's not allowed. Tiredness, late to work. That's apparently another issue. So, um... No high should get to work on time. That involves having carefully thought out sleeping patterns. So uh, get get to bed early to bed, early to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy and wise. So you know, don't stay up all night every night of the week. Bludgeon out. For your working week, for your working days, if you're working the following day, it's usually sound advice to get to bed early enough so that you can rise early enough to go to the toilet and have a shower or a bathe and have your breakfast and get dressed and uh, get to work on time. And not just work on time, but uh, getting back from lunch breaks on time and having appropriate appropriate mini breaks when you have, you know, like, if you've got five minutes off, off in an hour, you don't take 15. You, you take the five minutes. For sort of like for typists, you know, you take your five minutes break. You don't take 15. You take your five minutes and you do your job properly. Naturally, there's times when work is slack, and just chatting about and stuff like that. If it's the custom and the culture of the office, whatever. But um, don't don't use sort of your casual attitude as an excuse to not do your work, to not earn your pay properly. So show up to your work on time. Show up to meetings on time. Don't neglect your meetings. And, Generally, it's sound enough advice that if you've um, agreed to meet up with somebody for a, a catch-up or something, you know, people know what that's like. We complain, we whinge, don't we? When someone says they're going to meet us at a certain time and we're 15 minutes late, a lot of the time we complain and we whinge. So, you know, if you're complaining and whinging about people showing up late, don't do it yourself. So tidiness was an issue which uh, God raised for... Uh, Noah Heights. So, um, adultery doesn't like it. Um, I suppose it's a sin, isn't it? We don't have clear commandment on it in the Rainbow Torah, but I suppose that's a sin, I guess, isn't it? F faithlessness in marriage. Not really a good thing. To a degree, a man can be faithless in marriage, but if he's going to be faithless in marriage, then, uh, go off and bed another maiden, then he's supposed to marry her too. So a man doesn't really commit adultery if it's with a single woman, but he's going to have to take her as his second or third wife. He's going to have to take her as his wife. So stay faithful in marriage and show up to things on time. Just some A and M discussions, A and M issues, general issues. And this might be number two or three or something, but just A and M issues, general issues. 